Hello. Well, I'm back, and I'm actually a day late for this video, but uh, uh, just getting back and unpacking and everything uh, for my break, because I went somewhere and, well, uh, yeah, took a vacation from YouTube and stuff, so. All is good, but a lot of has happened ever since <clears throat> I took that break. Um, for instance, last week, um, uh, again, I'm also going to be talking about Star Wars, which is something I haven't talked about in quite some time. So, all of this will be about Star Wars. Then again, the title of the video is pretty much evident of that. But anyway, quite a bit has happened. Sense that many people have been talking about. Um, one is uh, Gary Kurtz, the producer of Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, as well as American Graffiti and other films, but those are the films he has been associated with George Lucas. He passed away um, from cancer. Um, what kind of cancer? I can't recall. Okay, or does it even say what kind? Uh... Well, um, well, I'm not seeing it, but he, well, he died from cancer. That doesn't specify what kind, but unfortunate. Um, uh, some of you may have known that have watched this, and as a bunch of my other Star Wars stuff, I made a video, which was all based off of a blog, which consists of memories from way back when, when I did a paper all about George Lucas, and I looked about the various interactions, cast members, and crew members, and other friends of George Lucas's. And what they all thought about him and whatnot, all for this paper way back in sixth grade. Um, because the teacher who did this wanted us to all know how to properly write a paper for like high school later on, and even in middle school. So you know, <sighs> did that had to be. I remember it had to all be ten pages, but you know, it was it was like a whole semester work of everything. So you're gonna have to get a lot of information, and then you have to. So I'll get all this information and just press it all down to ten pages, basically. I made a video all about that, and basically the whole thing was uh, Gary Kurtz and George Lucas. They weren't the best of friends. I think George, well, I think Gary Kurtz gets a lot more credit than he deserves. But I'm not here to talk about that. You know, he passed away. Rest in peace, Gary Kurtz. Um, and again, I even acknowledged in that blog post, as well as I believe in the video, that all that was from memory, because all the information I got has been, you have to dig for hours on end, or you'd have to, you know, or the stuff is gone, because the website, you know, the domain may have expired, and now does not exist anymore, because whoever ran it back in 2000. Five, six, or six, you know. And, you know, time goes on, things get busy, you don't maintain a website as regular as you might want, and then it's just gone because you forgot to keep paying the bill for that website. So, some of that information is most likely still out there somewhere, somewhere but with all the George Lucas hate and whatnot, I think all that stuff get shoved out anything seemingly positive about George Lucas. Uh, I mean, sure, now, because of the sequel trilogy, and people not being as fond of it, you know, George Lucas being more positive, or seen in a positive light, is more relevant, but I wanted to just say, rest in peace, Gary Kurtz, and basically acknowledge that if you've watched any of the videos, like, I'm not some sort of hypocrite, but I will say, you know, if you want to watch that video, and Look at that blog post, you can. And, um, yeah, um, <clears throat> there you go. Uh, 
other information about Star Wars um, outside of that unfortunate news. This, this, this whole video won't be entirely positive, unfortunately. I like to talk about positive stuff, but for Star Wars as of late, not so. There isn't as much positivity in regard. Well, I will say that this next thing, well, it's sort of is positive, but then there's a negative side later on. Bob Iger, the head of Disney, he basically said, you know, talking about Star Wars and all, it will be slowing down Star Wars, and basically, Episode 9 will be the very last movie we will see for quite some time. They're not going to continuously have a film, a Star Wars film, every single year. So that's good news, because people don't want that. People got tired of that real quick. I remember when I heard about it, I just thought, this is not going to do well. Uh, I might not have said that on a video like his, but I just thought in my head, that's going to backfire uh, just fast. It, it's going to be just, people aren't going to like it. And people don't, so... I and others that thought that uh, seem to be right. Um, now, <sighs> Bob Iger says this, and it seems like all is well, because there have been rumors yeah, Kathleen Kennedy's going to get fired and what. I'm like, yeah, until there's official stuff said, I'm not going to believe anything of that, and I was not going to ever make a video on anything, because people keep saying, s speculating this and that, September she's gone. And also the fact that she was getting an honorary Academy Award fueled people's, like, she's gone. She, this is her consolation prize. Like, here you go. Here's your last big thing uh, as being part of Lucasfilm. You know, you we're announcing it as you're still the head of it. After that, you're gone. And you'll get this. And then that'll be it. But nope. Because while Bob Iger... It's good news that Star Wars films will slow down and they're going to focus more here and there on the uh, future films like spinoffs, TV shows, most likely the other sequels like 10 through 12. Because let's all be honest, that's going to happen. We all know it will. At some point, 10, 11, and 12 will happen. George Lucas made a plan and he could envision 12 films total. Even way back in the 70s, if you look, you can see a commercial. It says, 12-part saga. So even then, that was heavily suggested. That's going to be the the big, the most there will ever be for the saga portion. Of course, you can expand with spinoffs and whatnot, which they've been doing with Rogue One and Solo. Films I enjoy through Disney. I know many people weren't as fond of Solo as others, but I thought it was okay, though. Rogue One is better, uh, in my opinion, at least. So, that was a bit of a good news that Star Wars is slowing down. However, some bad news. Because the bad news is... Kathleen Kennedy's contract is extended by three years. So that's how long she's going to still remain at Lucasfilm until like 2021. That's like when it gets up for renewal or they won't renew it or what have you. Um, yeah, it's just not fun. People aren't fond of her being in charge. Because, I mean, I don't know actually if I've ever really said this or not, but uh, she, you know, hasn't been the... People don't like her in charge, really. She's having this and that put into the stories, and they don't fit, or they're forced. Like, they could fit, but they don't because they're being forced and it's just uh, gets people who just do what she says not really fighting a whole lot um, like J.J. Abrams they say well, well she and uh, uh, him disagreed 
well, whatever disagreements they had on set the vision of Star Wars and all, uh, clearly it's not enough to have something happen where he's gone because Gareth Edwards was replaced by one of the writers, Terry, uh, Tony Gilroy, and he directed reshoots of Rogue One. And uh, things, there's a, there's a tonal shift in the film at the end. And, um, Lord and Miller, uh, you know, uh, you know, Philip Lord, Christopher Miller, movies of uh, 21 Jump Street, the Lego movie, I'm glad to get a chance to movie balls, that's the other thing, yeah, okay, I want to make sure that other film was, because I wasn't sure, because uh, there's another notable movie they made of it. You know, they were supposed to direct uh, Solo, but they didn't. Uh, their vision didn't align with Kathleen Kennedy, so they were thrown out. And then Ron Howard comes in to basically do what he can to fix the this mess that they're in. So, And from that, I think it's pretty fine. Um, apparently, Phil, uh, you know, Lord of Miller wanted to make a more of a comedy, a more hubris. Star Wars film. And Kennedy, I guess, let them do films so much. I can't remember what the percentage was now. I wasn't one of those people that was constantly on check with this. I'm constantly making videos on this. Like every week. So I have no clue, really, of what the exact percentage was, but it was a significant amount. Let's just say that. And... So they had to reshoot essentially everything, you know, with Ron Howard. However, uh, yeah, excuse me, I, I apologize for yawning. Um, but anyway, they're, Lord and Miller are executive producers on Solo. They were, you know, got replaced by Ron Howard. But they're uncredited as directors, which is interesting, because I don't recall them ever really, you know, hearing that they kept some of the stuff they filmed in. I'm not saying they didn't, but I don't recall hearing that like that. I might have heard it once or twice, but not enough times to nail that in the head, like some of their footage will be in the movie. But, yeah. So that's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, Kathleen Kennedy's contract renewed, and just before this, it seemed to hope that Disney was listening to the fans. Slowing down Star Wars, you know, taking years off. Hopefully they'll have a film every, like, three years or so, like what it used to be. At least with episode, maybe, like, one year, and then the very next, they could have, like, an episode, and then a spinoff, but then wait three years for each of those. Like, three years after the one episode... Here's another episode, but then three years after one spin-off, here's another one. They could do that, possibly. <laughs> like, uh, I could see that working, but, you know, maybe they'll do that, maybe they won't. But they'll take more time to make Star Wars films now. And uh, Bob Iger was taking a bit of the brunt of that. Like, trying to keep some of the heat off of Kennedy, some say. Um, I don't know. It's just unfortunate, really, but, yeah, there is that, um, you know, Gary Kurtz, rest in peace to him, uh, you know, I've said what I've said about him, but, you know, he's passed away, if you want to see that video, I'm going to get a link there all the videos. I think it's like one of the earlier videos I've made in this series, so it should be pretty... It should be pretty easy to see if you click on it and you look. Uh, it's about, I think it's George Lucas and Gary Kurtz. Something like that. I can't recall exactly, but yeah. Kennedy's contract renewed. 
people blame Kennedy for that because like that could have been a different take for Star Wars. Could have been interesting to see more of a humorous film. And with Han Solo being, you know, and, uh, he's well, he's Han Solo. Uh, you know, he has humor to him, and uh, Lando seemed to have humor. Uh, Chewbacca could be humorous. All those together, you know, it could be a pretty humorous kind of film. But no, we don't get to see that full version of it. <sighs> and I will also say with The Last Jedi, because I was watching something where people were talking, because there's these people who are like defending The Last Jedi, which is fine. And again, if you like these new films by Disney, again, I've always said this, you can. i just not fond of them, but you can. There's nothing wrong with that. Though, if you're a lifelong fan... Ever since the 70s or since the prequels or era kind of thing. Whenever you became a fan of Star Wars, if you loved the original trilogy, loved the prequels, loved all six of those, or you just like the original trilogy or whatever, it, the only thing that will keep put me at a loss is if you think the sequel trilogy is superior to the uh, original. That's going to be, be, make a, be a real head-scratcher. Some people just like Star Wars. It's just entertaining to them. There's nothing more. Just something to watch and that's fine um, by that all being said uh, there's a point that some people were making with one of these videos they were actually bunking certain plot points like what they think was interesting because I don't believe I said this in my last Jedi video but basically um, Finn was being fairly selfless when he was trying to escape from the or get go into a skate pod and he's trying to find Ray, you know. However, I think I try to say he's still a coward because in a way he is could be viewed as such. And he's trying to run <clears throat> when they need help because <clears throat> they do need help, and then they're in the midst of that in the film being attacked and chased by the first order. They need help, and he's going to try and run away and try to find Ray. Okay, as noble and selfless as selfless as that is at the same time he is still running away so in a way his character arc has not really grown much because he was still you know concerned for Rey in the force awakens and he still is in the last jedi however he's just gonna sort of abandon everyone on the re in the resistance fleet because, you know, he was part of the First Order, and he would know this and that about them. But he and could give insider stuff, of, possibly, but, you know, he wants to find Ray, and okay. Um, though he does help in the end with everything, but... Yeah. Also, Luke Skywalker will be in Episode Nine. I don't believe I ever said that, but yes, Mark Hamill will return. Most likely as a Force Ghost. I doubt they'll put him back to life. Some people have speculated how he could come back to life, but I don't know. I don't know. Carrie Fisher will also return through archive footage. Footage that has not been seen or put on Blu-rays or DVDs of um, The Force Awakens and even The Last Jedi, so... Instead of just saying how Leia's passed away, she's dead. She died between movies, you know, and I think if you've seen the last year, you know that whole space scene where she floats and whatever and goes there. Uh, I think uh, you could explain, like, because of how long she was out in space, that eventually took a toll on her, and then she died. I think that would be a very good explanation for her never being seen at all in episode 9, but being mentioned here and there, but that's it. So yes, here's that little Star Wars update, condensed to within 20 minutes. Probably a good thing, you know, didn't ramble on for a half hour plus. So yeah, I could keep going, but you know, rest in peace Gary Kurtz, my... I may have certain issues that you can, I've said in a video as well as a blog post. You can read those. 
But again, if you do read that, it's all from memory, because many of those websites and stuff, sources I saw, hard to find, might not exist. Also, I did cite a book, so as reference in certain parts. For a certain part, he kind of came off as bitter for a bit, a little bit. I'm talking about George Lucas. During the Empire Strikes Back. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, that all aside, I uh, hope you all have a good week, have a good day, and all that good stuff. Bye.